Hi, it's me again. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. So I told you previously, I'm gonna be bringing some new content to the channel, some stuff that I wanna make, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Today, um, got some got some unboxing that we're gonna do and some installs and show you guys some things that I thought personally was cool. Uh, I'm gonna jump on and show you my personal take of it and what I think about it. As you can see today, we have the professionals here. Professional. P-R-O-S-O. -O, professional. So, uh, we'll, we'll dive right into it and see what we got going on. If you've ever heard of a company called uh, 45 Blast, uh, they make comp compensators. I hope I pronounced that right. Compensators for the Canic brand. So here with me, I've got a Blast 45 compensator, and then I have the initial install, or the instrument, tool, weapon, firearm, that I'm going to use uh, to demonstrate the install and do some shooting before and after uh, to see if it makes a difference. If it doesn't make a difference, looks pretty cool so hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video because I know I'm gonna have fun making it today unboxing of the 45 blast my uh, professional self P-R-O uh, P-H P-R-O P P-H Pro professional I tried to sharpie my address out and I didn't do a good enough job but initial this is what you get inside the box Starting off with the main piece, wrapped up in some nice cardboard paper. You could probably use, reuse this come Christmas time. Stuff it in your packages, down in the bags and stuff. You know, kids, kids will love this. Turkeys, dogs, you know, things like that. Now here is your grand masterpiece. And we will show you how this installs. I'm sure there's better install videos than ours out there, but you're watching ours today, so you're in for the ride. That's a pretty good looking piece. I got this one. Uh, it has several different options. Uh, looking from their website, they have different options for all the different canning uh, br uh, uh, product lines that are out there, uh, the different models. This one right here, I got for the one that we have today and I got it to color match so we're gonna keep on going and see what else is in the box my favorite thing stickers a lot of stickers put that on my safe maybe on my sunglasses you never know comes with the hardware that you need four bolts uh, Picatinny rail that'll mount on the bottom of this whenever you get done you can put your lights your lasers your hoodoos your firework shooters all that fancy stuff and then instructions tells you all the pieces that you need steps one through four how to install and the tools that you need now my failure to read this today I brought two different sets of Allen wrenches standard and metric and it uses metric Allen wrenches, a 330 seconds and a 764. Um, yeah, I don't have the 764, but I do have some other tools that we're going to use to try to get the install. I do have the 330 seconds. So now we're going to swap over and show you what we're going to be installing this on today. Uh, do some shooting before and some shooting afterwards to see if this actually makes a difference. The piece of la resistance. Per YouTube's monetization rules, we are perfectly fine. So, no, uh, what is it? Uh, mod uh, extreme modifications of the gun, trigger modifications, 30 round mags, just dumb shit like that. We are perfectly within our rights for monetization of videos. So, within 
the toolkit that you get with this, you get your four plates for your optics mounting, uh, a different back strap, some cleaning tools, instructions. We don't ever read those. We're men. Uh, you come with two magazines. Uh, let's see, this one's an 18, 18 rounder. <clears throat> This one's 18. I know some of these, on some of the canics, like some of them that I've got, they have the base plates, which are extenders. Extend these like plus one, plus two, plus three. I know that you can buy other extenders to make these uh, higher capacity. We do not have those on these. This is all from the factory. And of course, your ammunition loader for your rounds. Um, these are kind of cool, kind of handy if you have uh, weaker hands or maybe if you're getting down to the last few rounds and the spring is really stiff. I don't really use them very often. Your hardware that comes in here, got a few odds and ends like your screws, your nuts, bolts, everything that you would use to mount your optics plate. Basic standard gun lock, uh, locks up your trigger and stuff, uh, comes with the key for that. You have a safe like I do. You just put them in a the safe. Don't worry about putting individual locks on everything. Depending on what state you live in, you may have to use stuff like that so they include it. The firearm itself comes with the canic holster, and then, as you can see, chamber's clear, no magazine. So we're going to be working on this with an unloaded firearm. Be treating it as such um, a little bit of spoiler I have already taken this out and I have shot it a few times uh, I enjoy this gun I enjoy the Canic lineup themselves it is a very nice gun I have collected quite a few of these uh, if you guys want to see more of what I have uh, what I use drop a comment down below and I'll show you the collection, uh, modifications, recommendations. Drop them down there if it's within uh, reasonable. I will go ahead and you know check that out for you guys. Do installs, testing, some stuff like that. Um, comes with standard Warren sights. Uh, these are pretty good sights, just straight out of the box. You do have your optics plate that you can remove uh, for. Uh, Pre-cut for optics, you can remove this, put your optics on if you choose for, you know, red dot or something like that. Today, we won't be using that. We do have some. I'm going to test some out and see if I like them on this firearm. But this overall, this is a pretty well gun. You can look up the specs and stuff on the Canic website as far as, you know, the, the, the barrel length and all different kinds of things that they've got going on, what they tell you, all the smart stuff. I'm just here to shoot the gun. Uh, not be a professional. I am not a professional at all, even though I have my professional sunglasses on. Uh, this will be going on the TP9 SFX. So, we are first, what we're going to do is load up some rounds. We are going to go ahead and shoot this a couple times, put a mag through it, and show you guys, you know, how this firearm functions and no modifications, but we're going to show you um, how it shoots before and how it shoots after. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Today I'm going to be using the Venom 115 grain uh, for both tests. Um, I had some 124, I didn't bring it with me. So we're just going to be using 115 this go around. If we switch brands, I'll let you know. But the the couple mags that we loaded up is the Venom 115. Chamber, nothing in the chamber, no magazine. So we're unloaded, we're good. Uh, all the gun critics out there be like, rah, 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 rah. unloaded, treat safe. 
treat mistakes. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the install. I am missing one of the Allen wrenches, but without doing janky stuff, I'm gonna figure out a way to get two of the screws uh, on here. As you can see, I got everything laid out. Um, the black and tungsten is going to look really good. So your pieces here, this just test fitting. Once this slides on, I'll show it to you in a second how it works. And then Picatinny rail will mount to that. So real simple, real easy. It's where your Picatinny rail is here on the firearm. This has slides in here. That slide directly on there like that. Uh, I'm sure if you had a rubber mallet or if, I'd probably use a rubber mallet or brass hammer. If you wanted a super tight fit, you could smack it against that. Then you're going to put in your, your Allen head screws there and there. We're just going to lock this in place. And then after you get done, you can add your Picatinny rail with your other Allen screws on there like so. I'm going to go ahead and install them here in a second. And then I will show you guys the finished product on how all this goes together. And then we'll talk about it for a second. Well, we got the install done. Uh, I will say that if you do not have a Leatherman, shout out to Leatherman. This thing right here has saved my ass more times than you know in probably the last eight or nine years. Been stranded on the lake, boom, Leatherman got me out of the middle of the lake. Race cars, boom, Leatherman. Side by side, boom, Leatherman. Everything, a Leatherman. I always keep one in my pocket. Anyways, so we've got it installed. Again, chamber's unloaded. The install's pretty straightforward, like I showed you. You got your two bolts here, you got your two bolts here. Um, it is a somewhat tight fit with the Picatinny rail. Uh, be careful whenever you're starting the screws so you don't cross thread them. Once you start working your screws down in there, um, it will seat itself. We don't have any other attachments to put on here. I feel like if I started adding more attachments and such to the firearm, it would already be heavy. Um, a loaded mag would kind of offset the difference. Um, but once that mag starts to decrease, never change, but still empty, um, you would start to be a little front heavy. But the coolest part about it is that I like uh, more cosmetic wise, I guess you would say, is that it looks like robocop that's cool people will probably say oh you know that's silly but you know what fuck you i think it's cool everybody Robo wanted a robocop yeah Robo robocop was super cool uh back in the day um i don't know if he's still cool or not but this is the closest thing to being an adult and having robocop shit that's all i'm saying unfortunately this does not fit in the factory holster anymore. Now this is easily removed, um, no issues with that, as long as you got the proper tooling for such. But taking it on and off would be kind of a nuisance uh, repeatedly. So we're gonna leave it on and find us someone who manufactures a holster for this to support this, maybe add some different stuff, go shoot with this gun. See how I like it. This is actually going to be the first time that I am shooting with it. I've been saving this install to make a video for you guys since um, Black Friday. So we're going to test it out, do some more shots, um, slow motion, and then tell you an honest opinion about it. So whatever you think about this or you tell me drop some comments down below whatever you think about this if you've had it you tried it your opinion on it i'm not sponsored by them i'm just picking up cool stuff that i feel like is cool i'm gonna try them out and review them for you guys so for right now let's get our ears on and we'll go down and shoot professional 
So before we test this thing out, I want you guys to look right here. We still have evidence from the last time that we were down here. And I would like to mention, KBD said that they were gonna cover the warranty of that bumper. And I ain't seen one yet, but I got trash talking them. Maybe we'll see, maybe they forgot about me. But he said he enjoyed the video. So for right now, we're gonna give this thing a whirl, see how I like it. And then I'll talk to you guys for a second. So let's do the thing. Changed the feel of the gun a lot. So. Yep. Well, final remarks on this. Um, ain't a bad buy. I don't. I've not used any compensators before uh, for the Canic line. Um, doesn't feel like it's too bad of a price on it. I did get it on Black Friday special. It was like 30, 40 bucks off. Uh, for some of my other ones, my other Canics, I might look into it. Uh, depends. This would make a very good competition uh, firearm uh, the way it is. A few modifications and stuff to it. Would be awesome but as far as the 45 blast uh one looks cool as shit uh two seems to function very well we went over the slow mos uh the ones that you guys seen went over the slow mos looks like it makes a difference um weight wise it adds uh just a little bit to the front of the barrel um, i did see personally for me shooting it i'm not a professional shooter uh, of any sort so I'm, I'm still learning. I'm an enthusiast. I want to have fun. Uh, Second Amendment to the day I die. But that right there, uh, I feel like it's a good addition. It's worth the price. Um, not, the video is not sponsored by them. Just an honest review. Um, yeah, check them out. Uh, if you guys, any Canic enthusiast, uh, others that know any other compensators uh, reasonably priced that you would like us to try and review uh, drop them down below in the comments and let me know i'll definitely check them out if it's something that i like and that i want to see um, i will definitely pick those up and make another video for you guys if you enjoyed this as far as the tp9 sfx this firearm always uh, as far as the canic stuff I have several of these and they always perform flawlessly so very good gun um, nothing more to really say i'm probably going to end this one out uh, if you guys like these videos drop a comment below if there's something you don't like you got some negative shit to say go ahead and drop it down there too i ain't going to remove your comments I ain't going to censor you i think it's a freedom of speech even though it's on a private platform that's you can see publicly but i like it all i enjoy it so that's the end of this one peace out guys see you on the next time if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button if you like the video hit that like button uh, if you don't like it hit the di uh, dislike button uh, share it put it up on the canic pages uh, we are not 100 percent going to just firearms and 2a related stuff on the channel we're still going to be doing off-roading and race car stuff and all those things i feel like i should mention that um, because i want to do a mix of everything i'm not going to do a channel that is just dedicated to one thing because that gets boring so for me i feel like my perspective so anyways peace out guys see you on the next one